good morning. Um, we're just about to leave um, to go to Rushton. Um, there's an Asta there and it's larger than the one where we live and we're hoping to do our um, food um, shop as well. Um, normally I have my food delivered by Iceland but we thought for a change we'll go and have it um, go actually shopping. Hubby doesn't like shopping, do you? Not food shop. No. But it'd be nice to see if we can find anything different to eat this week. Um, do some sort of get caught in um, a rut and sort of have the same things, don't we? The things that I know everybody will eat, but we'll see if they've got anything different. Um, so right, Hubby's just setting up the cameras. We do have a dash cam and we also have a GoPro. Um, too many mad drivers on the road, especially when we turn our caravan, which we're not doing at the moment. Um, but it's just an extra bit of security. Um, I have actually um, said about this before, about um, on the road. Um, the amount of times people cut you up is disgusting. As though you haven't got a minute to live, but can then end up in a really bad accident and we have come close a number of times because people do not want to be behind a caravan and I think it's disgusting how people actually cut you up on roundabouts and also they have to realise that you do need a um, certain amount of braking um, distance and that's why we like to obviously um, keep a distance especially behind lorries well any vehicles on motorways and when you get people cut you up and try and slot in in front of you um, they don't understand that it's not just stopping a vehicle you've got how much weight behind you on the caravan would you say uh, one and three quarter ton there you are and I think people do not think they'd rather you know rush I know you're supposed to go with the traffic but it's like lorries, they've got to understand you need a lot of um, braking distance as well. You can't just slam your foot on the brake, you have to, is it slightly pump it, is, it the, is that the right word? Yeah. Yeah, you know, you have to put your foot on the brake slowly, else you could end up, is it jackknifing? Yeah. Or you could end up having the caravan um, right in the back of your vehicle. And this, I know I'm having a bit of rant, but um, this is all to do with cameras and it's it gets worse. I mean, people ought to understand and be more careful on the roads. Um, it's ridiculous. And we're even trying to encourage our family members to get dash cams now. Um, I would like, although you can't have it with a caravan, I'd like a reverse one, um, one in the rear mirror um, window, don't know, I've been saying. Is it a dual? dash cam so you've got one looking out the back doesn't work when you've got a caravan on the back mind you um again a little rant about cameras i don't know if people feel the same um There's about driving scammers, isn't uh yeah insurance scams what do they call it insurance scam yeah where they they break in brake front check. of you call them brake checks and we've watched a lot of youtube about it and it is on the increase. Um, just take that bit longer. I mean, why people can't allow extra time for travelling, we always do. I'm one of those people that like to um, get somewhere early. Um, I will make a disclaimer, I do drive, but I haven't driven now about two years. I did get behind the vehicle and towed a caravan when we was at the Birmingham um, motor and caravan show um, I do not like driving I must admit um, hubby and my family members are trying to encourage me to get beyond the wheel it's not so much me driving I'm worried about it's other drivers and I just feel I'm not trying to be sexist I could be wrong I think male drivers tend to have um, quicker reaction um, I am all for multitasking but driving is another another factor isn't it I do not like parking so especially side parking some of the spaces um, especially in England car spaces are so narrow although our vehicles are getting larger um, but I still don't think they always take that into account do they so 
we're off on our road now. We're on a little mini road trip to Rushton. We was going to go to Rushton Lakes. Don't think we'll get there. It's getting a bit later. Still feeling, I know I keep saying this, rough. Um, hubby had uh, a doctor's appointment yesterday. He ended up having to go to the hospital to have a chest x-ray. It's just going round. It's not just our family. It seems to be everywhere. So hopefully I'll do some filming in Asta. That's what I'm hoping to do and see. I like looking at their bedding and homeware section. We'll see how it goes. I do get annoyed that they have to blare out music, which causes a problem if you want a video because then you have to do a voiceover. But like I said, we'll see how it goes and enjoy our shop with me at Asta. Right, we're now at Asta. I must admit, I'm saying to hubby, this is not really very impressive from the outside. It has all the under parking underneath. It is um, a fairly big Asta. Doesn't compete with Tamworth, which is about the biggest Asta, isn't it? Because that is on two floors, oh, literally. Yeah. That is a really big one. Um, but this is a decent sized one. And when we get our food delivered, it actually comes from Rushton rather than where we live because our Asta is quite small. They've got a coffee shop here. Shop. Yeah, they've got a coffee shop. Do they always have a coffee shop? Is that new? Just recently. Sorry if you can't hear us. You are broken. They just done it up. Yeah, we're looking for some boots for our granddaughter. There's these peach ones, the anchovies, they are suede. Um, these are actually um, £14, which is down to 7 Another pair, the only thing is they've got a bit of a tiny heel on. I think these are gorgeous. These were a ticket, which is £16, down to 8 They are so cute. And the other pair that I like are these. Um, seem very strong. We've got a good grip on them. Again, £16 down to £8. They have quite a lot of um, sale items as well and some lovely hats. There's this um, handbag that was £14 down to £7. It's a lovely little bag. And there's this um, makeup bag, was £5 down to £3. And you've got like the little card holders here. 
um, four pound down to two as I said these sort of things are brilliant um, to put money in here's some half price jewelry um, there's this Disney um, bracelet um, was seven pounds half price it's really nice there's also this um, heart necklace and earring set um, was seven pounds down to two pound fifty and then we have got this star necklace and earrings um, also was seven pounds down to two pound fifty and there is quite a few different ones quite like that necklace as well it's got the, um, got the star and the moon and everything on and there's another heart one that's pretty as well have got anything different um, there's one that's got the initial C on I've had to revert to photographs and a voiceover at this point because being sick was Saturday, it was really busy. Here's some bathroom with the bits and pieces that move about. Hubby's favourite, Gnomes as Search with the Unicorn. I thought they were kind of cute. And I had to go and have a look at the mugs. They had some lovely ones like these bear mugs that were reduced down to £2.50. They also had these llama ones and the owls. And no, I did not pick up another mug. Um, but I did think the owl was cute. And this lovely bunny teapot for £9. Um, getting all the like bunny range in for Easter. And then they had this lovely teapot and um, milk jug in the gin teapot range. Which I hadn't seen before. And I thought this mug was pretty good. I keep hitting the space bar, but I'm still on earth. Um, for £3, very good for a gift. And for a man. Right, we just got back from Rushton. Um, the traffic was horrendous. I think a few things about that. One, um, it's Saturday quite late now and then there was a detour um, roadworks traffic was down to one lane and um, so this is our food it was quite expensive because um, this time our goal was not to buy any free stuff we wanted to go fresh and get a bit more um, healthy and healthy always ends up being more expensive but this is what we've got I don't know quite all the prices um, we've got the bananas here um, we've got pita breads here I've got two packs because I've got some donna meat that I bought yesterday we're gonna have with salad sorry about that family members were talking in the background right We've got two meat pies, um, we've got the steak and gravy deep um, fill and then the one underneath is the steak and ale. Um, hubby picked those up. How much was the pies? Two for five. There we are, two for five pounds. Um, got some um, fresh orange juice, Asta's own mate. A lot of them are concentrated but trying to get vitamin C into people at the moment. Um, some wanted some crisco, that's the only packet of crisp I actually bought. Bakery, we've got the rolls because I want to do BLTs. Um, we've got the fresh bread and they put it through the machine to cut it. Got to have fresh bread. Um, we've got the Pink Ladies um, apples. Um, 
I've got a quite a large apple that's for obviously for two pounds. We've got the seedless green and the red grapes, um, two packs um, for two pounds. Um, the bacon here, 16 rashes of smoked bacon, and that was £2.30 for BLTs. We've got meatballs there, and the meat was three for £10. So we've got meatballs, and I've got two um, packs of the Irish beef diced, and that's to do in the slow cooker. Um, to go along with the meatballs, I did buy um, two of the Domino sauces, although they were expensive. Um, one seventy-five. I normally only buy them when they're on offer, but it was two for two pound fifty. So one twenty-five a jar wasn't too bad, and they're not actually the really big jars either. So we got the original bolognese, but I don't know if there's going to be much difference in taste. But to go with the meatballs, we've got the tomato and basil one. Um, haven't had Asta's Diet Coke before, we just picked one bottle up. We normally get all our Coke from Iceland because it's a better deal. Um, there's a mixed berry crush there, zero. And we've got two bottles of the um, Pepsi Max and one Dr Pepper. Um, quite expensive actually. Um, to say we normally get three litre bottles from Iceland, so we didn't buy a lot of Coke. Because everybody's had coughs and sore throats, we've got milkshake, um, chocolate, banana, strawberry, and this is blueberry muffin. I'm sure we've had this before. Um, we've got lettuce and tomato to go with the BLTs, and also um, I'm going to do it with the pita breads today and the donna meat. And then we've got some corn yogurts. I don't know how much these were actually off the top of my head. How did you know? Christopher, do you remember how much the yogurts were? Oh, milkshake? No, the yogurts. No, I don't. No, I think they might have been about £2 actually. Right, now to the non-essential food items. Hubby wanted um, a new um, travel mug for work. After we threw all those out. Yeah, after we threw all those out. It's typical, isn't it? Um, yeah, for our granddaughter, I always have a budget each week that I put money in her money box and or get a bit of pieces as she needs some. And look at this from, um, what is it? Um, Despicable Me 3, is it? Yeah. Is obviously unicorn again fluffy so i've got the bowl and the plate these were a pound each and i think they're so cute um this is a gift i said i've got mother's day um next month and also birthdays so this is the Balian and the hardin this is called the fuzzy duck collection and on the back if i turn it around you can see that is what it contains i thought that will make a lovely gift and originally this was £10 reduced down to £5 and this one was originally £4 down to 2 and we even if I didn't use it a gift we actually loved it anyway this is another gift this was originally £5 down to £2.50 and it's got the Vaseline and it's got the pouch gift set um, light bulbs, six pounds for that or something. Yeah, um, these are the um, from fourteen watts, and but it gives out the output of a hundred watts. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, LEDs. LEDs. For our son, yeah, Simpsons Tic Tacs, and for our granddaughter, some boots which were actually a very good price. These were originally £14 down to 7 Although they are a little suede, so they are going to get mucky, but a lot of the boots, as we were discussing with her parents, have got heels on, and she's just over one, so uh, wouldn't be ideal, and they've got a little bit of a tread on. Admittedly, they are going to get dirty pretty quickly, but they're sheepskin inside and got the zip. So... I think they are sick. And look at the back of those. Got little kitty cats. 
or is it fox says i don't know what would you say that is that fox yeah yeah fox but so cute the back probably um won't stay clean very often or very long but she's still fairly young so she doesn't walk that far so that is my haul my food haul mainly um we did say it did run more expensive but we did want to get some um, fresh meat and produce this week rather than frozen and we'll see how we go with that thanks for watching have an amazing day an amazing weekend thanks for watching goodbye